Hey guys, so for today's video, I'm gonna be showing you my speed glam. This is not like an everyday makeup, it's not like light makeup by any means, but this is kind of like minimum effort for maximum effect. Just for reference, this is something I would usually do if I am at home, I'm already in my like PJs, I have no makeup on, and then I realize like, crap, I still have to go out, or like I really should go out to this thing. So this is kind of like my really quick makeup, maximum effects, minimum effort, like I said, and just a look that I really like know and trust and feel comfortable in and some products that I know give me the look I want and I don't have to be wondering if it's gonna work out or not. So yeah, my trustworthy speed makeup, I guess. So if you wanna see how I went from this to this, then, you know, just keep watching. <laughs> For my base, I'm actually going to be using a moisturizing spray. This is the Derma E Hydrating Mist. I believe it comes in different packaging now. Pickle, what are you doing? It's very light, but also hydrating. And the reason I think that spray moisturizers can be really awesome for certain skin types is that if you are someone that when you just put lotion on, your skin gets really red and blotchy, this is a really nice alternative because you're obviously not rubbing it into the skin. You're just giving it a quick mist. So that's why I'm going to use this. While I let that sink in, in case you're wondering what I'm drinking today, I'm drinking like rice eggnog, but I don't think I really like it. But maybe that's just because I don't like eggnog, I don't know. Hmm, weird. So for my foundation, I'm going to be using the Cover FX Natural Finish Oil Free Foundation. The shade I'm using is G40, and this is just something that I've been reaching for more so recently because I've not been using my Too Faced Born this way very much, or at all, really. So this has been my kind of current alternate to that. It gives me really nice coverage, looks nice on the skin, and it's just one that I know I can trust. So I'm going to be applying that with the Furless CB4 because it's a big brush and it makes it really easy. So I'm just going to my hair back quickly for this because we do not have time for getting makeup in our hair when we're doing speed makeup. Then to conceal, I'm going to be using the Cover FX Cream Concealer. This is in the shade G Medium. And again, because I want a brush that's large and is going to do the job quickly, but is also still kind of like useful for the small eye area, I'm going to be using the Furla CB3 for this. So I'm just going to dot the concealer on anywhere I need it first of all and then blend it out. So before that has a chance to crease or anything, I'm going to set my whole face with the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder. This is in Translucent Light. And again, I want a large brush that's going to do the job quickly, so I'm using the Furless BC2. So now I'm about ready to kind of bronze, blush, highlight, and all that stuff. I do have a couple options I want to show you. So this is the e.l.f. Total Face Palette. And as you can see in here, you have the bronzer, two blushes, and a highlight. A really great option, obviously very well priced. But the one I'm going to be using today is the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. This is a really gorgeous product that I really love. And definitely something I reach for when I'm actually doing my makeup in this situation, not filming. So that's why I want to use this one. And then for a blush, I'm going to be using the Milani Luminoso Blush. And to apply those, I'm going to be using the furless brushes again in BC2 and BC3 and maybe BC4. <laughs> You'll see. Thank you. 
So as you saw, I did my face and eye makeup with those products too. I just think it's a really simple way of doing it. So now we're gonna move on to the eyes and I just need to do my eyebrows and my the rest of my eye makeup. So for brows, I'm gonna be using the Charlotte Tilbury Brow Lift in Grace K. So this has a spoolie on one end, the brow definer on the other, and it also has like a little highlighting thing so you could obviously use that instead of the highlighter on the eyes if you wanted to. I like this for occasions like this just because I know that it's really quick, I know that it's the right colour, that it's easy to work with so it's just really easy to quickly fill brows in with this one. So that's what I'm going to do. So now my brows are done, I'm going to move on to the lash line and I'm going to be using a eye pencil. This is one from Pixie in the color Black Cocoa. You'll see what I'm going to do, but I'm going to roughly line my lid and then I'm going to smudge it into shape with a Zoeva 226 brush. I really love to do this, especially if I'm not going to wear lashes because I think it gives you the illusion of a kind of thicker, fluttery lash. It gives you that kind of pretty smoky line, but also does make your lashes look thicker, again, especially if you don't want a fake one. So that's what I'm doing. And then I just keep layering more liner until I get to the smudgy kind of shape that I want. So then I'm going to load on a ton of mascara and I'm going to be using the Pacifica Dream Big Mascara for this. Then I always like to be sure to clean up any mistakes or anything with a Q-tip while I remember. Otherwise, I'd probably rush out the door and leave all these like black specks everywhere. And it only takes a second. Lip-wise, I do have a few options to show you. So I'm just going to start by doing lightest to darkest. You know why that makes sense the first option i'm going to be showing you is the charlotte tilbury lip cheat in iconic nude topped with the anastasia liquid lipstick in naked very light option but a good one So this is the makeup with option one, which was Anastasia's Naked Liquid Lipstick. The next option I want to show you was Kat Von D's Lovecraft Lipstick, which is a kind of more purpley plum nude, I guess I would say. So again, that was Lovecraft from Kat Von D. I know liquid lipsticks aren't for everyone, so I did want to show you a nice lipstick option. I do think it's a little more cool tone purple in real life than it's showing up on the monitor, so just keep that in mind. And then I did want to show you a really dark option. This is actually Salem from Lime Crime. I know not everybody likes Lime Crime or agrees with them as a brand, but I did want to show you a really dark lip option, and this was just what I had. So if you know of any other brands with similar colors that you want to recommend below, please do so. I 
did just want to show you a few different lip options to show you how versatile the eye makeup is and that it basically goes with anything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of really quick tutorial. I will be doing a more kind of in-depth New Year's Eve type tutorial, but I did want to put this one out because not everybody has like an hour or two hours to sit down and do their makeup. So I wanted to do something that was quick with products that I know perform and just kind of makeup that I feel good in, but is still that kind of little bit more glam than like an everyday makeup look. So obviously you could add some lashes to this if you wanted to, add some kind of more shimmer color to the lid. Lots of different ways you can change this up, but this is just my go-to for when I want to feel a little glam, but maybe don't have a ton of time. So consider this your part one of New Year's Eve makeup. Very simple because not everyone wants to wear glitter. And then I will also have a video going up at the end of the week that's much more New Year's eve -y. So please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.